Uh, William Binney, uh, welcome to the New York Film Festival and congratulations on your film. Thank you very much. Uh, could you talk a little bit about your role in the documentary and your relationship with the NSA? Uh, well, my relationship is, I, I've had over 36 years of relationship with the NSA. Uh, uh, basically, I was very deeply involved. I, I retired from NSA in 2001, at the end of October. Uh, and, I mean, the, the part that I, I mean, Laura had been interviewing me since uh, May of 2011 and has been taking uh, shots of me since then about, uh, and we've been discussing different aspects of uh, uh, the illegal, illegal unconstitutional activity of NSA. And that's, I assume that's part of what's in the film. I haven't seen the film yet. Hopefully, uh, I mean, I'll see the film very shortly, and then I'll uh, I'll know what she clipped and put in there. So, other than that, uh, we talked about a lot of what NSA was doing that's illegal and unconstitutional. That's that's fundamentally what it, what the issues are here. What attracted you to this documentary project, and how large do you think your role in the film is? Well, I mean. Uh, uh, Laura called me and uh, right after the Jane Mayer article that I, I, I did an interview with Jane Mayer and she published her article in May of 2011 and Laura called me from Brazil, I think she was in <laughs> Brazil at the time and she, uh, she asked if I'd be interested in participating in a documentary film about the, what's going on with NSA and I said certainly uh, because this is something that uh, they're trying to hide from history, they're trying to hide it from the American public and I wanted to get it out so that they, so that people would understand what their government's doing to them. So uh, that was my my way of helping to contribute to that effort of educating the electorate so they knew what was happening to them. Uh, and Laura was uh, uh, certainly the one of the first ones. She was the first one really to to offer being able to do that through a documentary film. So I thought that would be great. Let's do it. And finally, just really quickly, could you talk a little bit about your impressions of the film world and uh, what you've gone through to promote the film here or elsewhere? Well, you know, I, this is kind of new to me. I've not been, I'm not familiar with the film industry at all. Uh, it's certainly different from the life I had as, a, as, a, uh, as an employee of NSA. I mean, we were in a secret world. It was all secret. Everything was... I mean, if we worked with anybody, we, 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 we would have to tell them that we worked for the Department of Defense, you know, which is a big organization, not for NSA, where they might say, oh, you do signals intelligence, you know? So, so it's a totally different world. It's not, it's not the secretive kind of uh, world that I came from. I mean, I worked in some of the back, back rooms of NSA, so I mean, it's really rare, rare that I ever got outside of NSA, even to talk to other people at CIA or things like that. So. Now, I mean, here I'm out talking about everything to, to virtually everybody, I hope, and uh, trying to get the, the word out, you know, and to try to get everybody to understand uh, what's really happening. Uh, so it's quite different for me, the film industry. Well, Bill, thank you so much. Good to meet you.